our group sustained a tremendous loss last September with the loss of our good friend, Kalen Morgan. We have his brother here. We have several of his close friends from his inner circle here. And the reason this is a big deal is because when he passed away due to diabetes, a lot of things, I mean, it was just completely unexpected for all of us. Some of us kind of knew that he was going through some issues. Other people had no clue whatsoever. My friend Kalen was a Navy veteran. I hold our veterans to the highest regards. With all that being said, everyone knows him as the two-step king. He has the little blue 20th anniversary GTI, which is not here today. The reason we have this Mini Cooper up here is because this car belonged to Kalen. After his passing, there were a lot of things that have to go through when people pass away. With all that being said, we've had the opportunity to pick up Kalen Morgan's Mini Cooper S John Cooper Works package. And we're going to build this car. We're going to build this car together. And we're going to do it to promote and spread awareness for diabetes as well as many other causes. And we're going to use this as a vehicle to make a difference. And it's all going to be in honor of our friend Kalen Morgan. So if y'all wonder why Will Bird ended up with the Mini, it wasn't because of Mark and the Mini Club. <laughs> <laughs> it's because this car means a lot to a lot of us so y'all can see it now we brought it out today for the before pictures so that everyone will have an opportunity to see what the car looks like it hasn't been heavily modified it has been modified though and it was done by his blood sweat and tears and with his friend and it all happened in the driveway at his house so i just wanted to give you all an opportunity to see what this car is see what it's about and just know that there are really big plans for it and we will make a big deal about it once the project is complete at that point you are going to see this car at a whole lot of places um so if y'all would like to come take a look at it feel free. If y'all need the hood open, want to look at that, that's fine. We do have professional photographers out here today to take advantage of the before photos so that we can kind of reminisce about what it was like. Kalen only had this car a few months prior to his passing and through his inner circle, people who helped him wrench on this as well as many other of his projects. I have been in touch with they have shared with us the direction he wanted to take this vehicle's build and we're going to honor that for it if anyone's interested in taking part in the process feel free to reach out to me because this is something we can all do together and at the end of the day this is something that is a legacy that we're going to leave we're going to make a big difference I appreciate y'all taking your time to come out today. I know this was unexpected, but I really wanted to share this with y'all because y'all mean a lot to me. We all mean a lot to each other, hopefully. Um, we also have another announcement because when Kalen passed away, uh, the president of the Maryland's Mini Club, uh, Maryland Minis Club, Mark, could you raise your hand? That's Mark. When he got wind that Kalen Morgan was a mini, a mini owner, he was at every single memorial meet, tribute, funeral, after the funeral, and very many other things. The support of the mini club has been astonishing, paying respect to our beloved friend Kalen. Thank you, Mark, and mini club. Thank you. With all that being said, Mark, 
approached us here about a month or two ago about a project that we can do together. And I suppose what I'll do at this point is let Mark come up here and share the opportunity that we've been asked to take part of. So let's welcome Mark the Freaks with the Maryland Mini Club. Hi, I'm Mark DeFries. Um, I've lived in Maryland for over 40 years, and as all of you know, the traffic here is horrendous at times. Um, with that being said, I approached Manning Media, who own multiple radio stations in this area. I sent them a proposal where we would all have stickers on our cars, and we would be part of a traffic team. Very often, we actually come up to an accident even before the state police. And if we can have people avoid the accident area or be prepared for an accident area, um, I think that's a community benefit that we all could do. With all the car clubs in this area, Will and I figured out there's over 37,000 people who are members of car clubs. Um, Manning Media has stepped up and they've, they've printed stickers for us which identify the cars as being a member of a traffic team. There's two stations, uh, 106.9 and 103. So that's classic rock and contemporary songs, uh, music. Um, we work with Manning Media, we put together instructions. What happens is you run up on some sort of accident or hazard or weather condition, tree down or whatever. There's a number you text to the radio station and then they put it out to all their listeners. Um, so this is a joint of effort that we're doing with um, Manning Media. They're also going to put us on their website and explain exactly what we're all about and why people are seeing the stickers on the cars promoting this traffic um, team. So if you want stickers, I've got a whole bag of them over here. Um, Anthony, can you good? Flash can uh, give you the stickers. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And inside each package, there's the instructions on what you need to do. Um, if you come up on a, a scene and you think that it's important enough to report it to the radio station, it then immediately goes out. And they're also going to be promoting the car clubs. When a message comes through and they recognize that it's a car club member, which will come up on their computer, they're going to give a shout out to the car clubs. So I think that's a, a great free way of being able to promote our um, efforts. So without anything else, thank you. So everyone, as you can see, Mark has spearheaded this idea because with the rapport that we have as an automotive culture, this is a way that we can be proactive. So if anyone's interested in volunteering, come right over here get you a volunteer packet that'll give you instructions on how to sign up. Once you sign up, everything is optional. You don't have to always call in. If you have a chance and you want to do so, you have the opportunity and when you call in, it'll be basically a fast track. They put it on the air, let other people know. Um, so if y'all want your volunteer packets, last week when they brought them, believe it or not, the outreach was outstanding they ran out of volunteer packets so they brought extra this week we're going to be doing this for the next few sundays to really get it up and going so mark minis thank you so much for doing this and allowing us to have a platform to help